Welcome. I'm Sarah Davis, uh, Pro Vice Chancellor and Head of the College of Science and Engineering. On behalf of all our staff in the college, I congratulate you on your graduation from the University of Leicester. Today, we celebrate the success of all our students across the college. We're so proud of you and your hard work over the last uh, few years has meant that you've realised your ambition of gaining a degree. We hoped we'd be together in person this January to celebrate your achievements, but this hasn't been possible in these times. You have had the most challenging, challenging year of any of our graduating classes, and I'd like to thank you for how you've adapted to that new environment during the final few months of your degree courses and your PhD research, and also for your support and understanding through that time. In addition to your studies and your research, I'd like to acknowledge the contributions you've made to the wider life of the university, from your active input to a huge range of student societies, to, through to volunteering in the university and in the city, and also for supporting activities within your schools. Can I also extend a special thank you to all our reps on the student staff committees who do such a great job of representing the interests of students and helping us create the best environment. The efforts of our student representatives leading their committees were, re were recognised at the Student Voice. Alongside Tariq Morana from Physics and Astronomy, who received an award for the event of the year, Campaign of the Year was awarded to Ola Dawak, now a geography graduate, and Connor Birchall was Liberation Advocate and is now a geology graduate. These contributions and those of many, many others create a vibrant and exciting college. It requires a great team effort from people across the college to support teaching and research. And I would like to take a moment to thank everyone, our professional services staff, our technical staff, our academics, and our researchers who work so hard. I know you recognize their efforts because representatives from all staff groups were nominated by you for Students' Union Superstar Awards. With more than 65 nominations received from co uh, students across the college, and many congratulations to Lena Soda from the School of Mathematics and Actuarial Science, a very worthy winner of the Best Lecturer Award. Our dedication to and the enthusiasm for teaching is also recognised in three University Distinguished Teaching Awards to college academics. To geographer Dr Margaret Byron, chemist Dr Richard Blackburn, and to Richard Craggs from Informatics. Now, 2019 and the University's Discovering Excellence Awards seem a long time ago now, but I'd like to take a moment to recognise some of the awardees from the college who will be familiar to some of you and reflect our ethos in excellence in all that we do. I'd like to recognise Dr Dylan Williams from Chemistry for Teaching Excellence, uh, Paul Jenkins for Student Experience Champion, recognising his contribution to the musical life of the university. I know many across the college are passionate in their involvement in music. To Devali Thank you from Physics and Astronomy, who won the Technician's Award, recognising the breadth of her contribution. And that includes ensuring that the Physics Lab's teaching programme runs smoothly. And finally, recognising our research, physicist Professor Emma Bunce was recognised for research excellence. And reflecting on the last year, our staff are making their work count across the wider society. A new ventilator designed by Paul Leffley from the School of Engineering supports the fight against COVID. Geographer Professor Lettrelise is the new chair of the London Housing Panel. And geologist Dan Smith was seconded to the Parliamentary Office of Science and Technology. And these are just a few examples. Staff are also out explaining their science, from engineering's Dave Weston featuring on BBC One Show, to our physicists appearing on the sky at night. And one of our technicians, Lynn Marvin, supporting the 2020 Royal Institution Christmas Lecture Series. We hope your time with us has inspired you to go out into the world and make a difference. All our staff extend their congratulations to you on your graduation, a very special day. Later, we'll hear messages from our heads of school. But first, allow us to introduce our President and Vice-Chancellor, Professor Nishan Kanagaraja, to say a few words. Hello. My name is Professor Nishan Kanagaraja. I'm the President and Vice-Chancellor of University of Leicester. I was really looking forward to our graduation ceremony this year. Sadly, for the reasons we know, 
we cannot hold a physical graduation this year. We still wanted to celebrate your achievements with this virtual ceremony today. We at the university are very proud of your successes. Today is about celebrating your achievements at the University of Leicester. This has been a challenging year, which makes your achievements even more impressive. We want you to go out there and make a positive difference. As our citizens of change, make a difference to those around you. What you do in life and your successes will reflect well on this university. You are now our ambassadors. I want you to wish you the very best in life. Many, many congratulations. Thank you. And now we turn to your heads of school for their congratulatory messages. Each head of school will also announce their student prizes. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Ellis, and I'm the head of the School of Chemistry. Welcome to the chemistry part of this graduation celebration, and that includes graduates from the MSc course in Forensic Science in, uh, with Criminal Justice. I'm sorry we have to do this online, but, but circumstances dictate that. First, I want to offer my warmest congratulations to each of you for completing your course of becoming a graduate. Chemistry and forensic science are challenging subjects, and so you can be very, very proud of your achievements. So well done to all of you. Now, I know that some of you will use your science training in the future, whether in research or in some other technical job. Some of you might move away from science. Either way, I hope that you look back on your course and uh, with fondness, really, and that you enjoy it and that you've made some very good friends here. And um, I would like you to try and remain in contact with us. Uh, we really like, uh, like it when graduates come back to visit us. In fact, just outside of my office, we have a notice board, a photo board with all the photos of the academic staff. And it's really nice to see the graduates come back and have a look to see if they can still recognize some of the academic staff within the school. And that's great. If you can come back in person, that's fantastic. In the last year, we've heard from a number of graduates. For example, we've heard from graduates who graduated in the 1980s and have major roles. So one of those is a CEO of a major tech company in California with several hundred employees. Uh, the other has become a vice chancellor to university in Canada. And in the case of the latter, we found out about that via the university alumni. And so we hope that you'll certainly keep in touch with via the university alumni network but by all means as well, feel, feel free to contact us directly and we certainly would welcome a visit. So what I'm gonna do now to finish off my little piece is just to announce two prize winners from the MSc course in Forensic Science and Criminal Justice. And these are Emma Hook uh, for Best Dissertation Prize and Oliver Thompson uh, for Best Student Performance. Many congratulations to those two and many congratulations to everyone. Hello everybody, I'm Professor Stephen Garrett, Head of the School of Engineering. I want to wish all of our engineering students and indeed all of you here today the very best onwards journey in your lives. Your time at Leicester uh, might not have been exactly the experience we were all expecting it to be for you before Covid hit, but I'm confident that you have the education, the skills and the forwards momentum to achieve everything within your ambition. So please do go forwards with confidence and keep in touch with us here. Now to the prize winners. Bear with me that there's quite a few prize winners here uh, reflecting the excellent achievements of, of the engineers. So congratulations to Hamed Ahmed for the best student prize in the MSc in Embedded Systems and Control Engineering, Ahmed Ramahi for the MSc in Advanced Engineering Best Student Prize, Joanne Lin Chen for the MSc in Information and Communications Engineering Best Student Prize, Wing um, Weijing for the MSc in Advanced Electrical Electronic Engineering Best Student Prize, Dami Nasundar for the Master of Engineering Management Best Student Prize, Mohamed Kwadia for the MSc in Advanced Mechanical Engineering with Management Best Student Prize, and finally, once again, Ahmed Ramahi uh, for the Dunlop Polymer Engineering Division Prize. Congratulations to, to all of them and congratulations to all of you as well. Well done. Hi everyone, I'm Stuart Fishwick, Head of School for Geography, Geology and the Environment here at the University of Leicester. And as has already been mentioned, today really is a celebration of, of the culmination of your studies and your success as students in Geography and Geology. 
you've all worked really hard through your degrees, whether that's been over the last year and a bit for master's students or longer timeframes for undergraduates and postgraduate researchers. It's clearly been a, a really challenging year. The, the strange circumstances we've found ourselves in and, and really a, an extra special well done for that. The celebration of your graduation is a very happy and important event and I'm sorry that we're not able to see you at all in person at this time. All of the staff in the school pass on their congratulations. I've seen a number of them in the, who, are here, who, are, who are here watching um, and I'm sure many will have been in touch as you came to the end of your studies. As you move on to future plans, please keep in touch with us. We love to know what you're doing and it means a lot to staff when we hear back from former students. So good luck for the future from everyone in the school. I'd now like to announce the following prize awarded to one of our graduation, one of our graduating students. And that's the GICI Master's Dissertation Prize for Harriet Renton. And finally, and very hot off the press as of last week, I'm really pleased to add that Harriet's dissertation has just been confirmed as one of three winners of the national award in this research area. Congratulations. Good afternoon. I'm Professor Lu Liu, Head of the Informatics. I know 2020 is a special year for you as you need to cope with these unprecedented situations caused, caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. I can't be proud of all your achievements you have made at the University of Leicester, a leading university in computer science. In the past decades, we have witnessed how our lives, our business, and our society has been transformed by the cutting edge computing technology like AI, big data, and the internet of things. You are our future because you are the next generation computer engineers and scientists who will continue to change the world. I trust you will make good use of what you have learned at Leicester to make the positive changes to our society. Please stay in touch. At the end, I would like to wish all your best for your career and life. Your amazing career will start from here, from Leicester. I'm very pleased to announce our prize winner. Congratulations to Alex Maragakis for the OC's Best Student Prize, David Dondor for the Dion Global Prize, Alex Maragakis and Eventure Zafirio for the Computer Science Best Software Project Prize, and Matthew Hall for the Computer Science Best Technical Project Prize. Many congratulations, many thanks. Hello, it's me again. And now I would like to wish all of our mathematics and actuarial science graduates the very best onward journey in their lives. As with the engineers, you are perfectly placed to go forwards and, and change the world in the way you want it to be. So um, go forwards with confidence. And again, don't forget to keep in touch. So the prize winners in mathematics and actuarial science are as follows. Richard Hansen for the Financial Mathematics and Computation Best Project Prize, and also for the Best Student Performance Prize. Arma uh, Gorania and Dilip Ratia for the Actuarial Science Best Project Prize. Arma Gorania again and Oliver Lorden for the Actuarial Science Best Student Performance Prize. Githmir Kumar um, Amir Uma and Priyanka Tibria Waller for the Actuarial Science Distance Learning Best Student Performance Prize. Monzina Khan for the Actuarial Science MSc Dissertation Prize. Rafael Fernandez for the ACNM Best Student Performance Prize. And finally, Michael Bang for the DABI Best Student Performance Prize. Congratulations to the prize winners and congratulations to everybody here. Well done. Congratulations to all graduating students. I'm Professor Emma Bunce and I'm the Head of School of Physics and Astronomy. Today we're celebrating your achievements in the school and included in that are our cohort of postgraduate MSc students who've completed the Space Exploration Systems course and we're also celebrating with students as they finish their postgraduate research degrees and with some finishing undergraduate um, students. This year's MSc cohort is one of the most successful groups since the start of the programme. You've all worked exceptionally hard and this is reflected in the results that you've obtained. The project phase in particular presented you with additional challenges this year because of COVID. But despite these challenges, the project teams have excelled. 
I'm told that your written reports produced at the end of the projects were comparable to what would be expected from a large space prime or an experienced space sector company. Our industry partners who attended your final presentations were very complimentary about your work, which is really fantastic. For our graduating PhD students, I know this last year of your studies has been really tough and I'm so impressed with how you've carried on your research, completed your writing up and tackled a remote Viva examination. But to all of you, well done for making it through your degree. We are extremely proud of you. Physics is really tough at the very best of times and this past year has been difficult for everyone. Whatever it is that you choose to do next, we wish you every success and I really hope that you will keep in touch with us to let you know what you're doing. Our new university vision is that we are citizens of change and I fully expect to see that many of you will go on to contribute to positive change in our society in all manner of ways, from application of your scientific knowledge to bringing your resilience, perseverance, critical thinking and creativity to whatever path you choose to take. And now on to our prize winners for the MSc in Space Exploration Systems. Many congratulations to El Ghali Azri, James Cole, Rory McLaurin, Peter Selves and Samuel Manick Robinson. Well, well done to all of our graduates and congratulations to all of our prize winners. Our Students' Union Executive Officers, some of whom you may have come across during your studies here, would also like to offer their congratulations and their best wishes. Hi everyone, I'm Mia Namard, I'm a current Student Union President. I just want to take out the time to say a huge congratulations um, to the class of January 2021. So whether you're a postgraduate, undergraduate, um, home or international student, um, graduating during a pandemic is no small feat. You're a credit to yourself, university, and of course your student union. Um, be safe and a huge well done. You're amazing people. Hi everyone, my name is Adnan. I'm the Students Union Education Officer. Just a huge congratulations from me to all of you for graduating. I know it's in unfortunate circumstances, um, but well done even so, and I hope you're all safe. Um, remember what you've learned, not only in your degree, but from each other and from the people you've met in your time here, um, and utilize that. To, to help change things and to help change the world. I, I have faith that everyone here has, has an ability to, to impact things and to really uh, progress the world in a more just and sustainable way. Thank you. Hi everybody, I'm Tony Magaya and I'm your Liberation Officer. So I really want to congratulate you on this amazing, amazing achievement. You guys have been through so many hurdles this year, the biggest one being coronavirus, but you came out in the end and here you are flourishing on this amazing day. So today, I really want you to remember your experiences, go out in the world and slay it because the world is definitely your stage. Hi guys, I'm Carly, your wellbeing officer. I want to say a huge congratulations to everyone who's graduating this year. You have overcome so much throughout your degree. Not only have you had to deal with strikes, but you've also graduated in spite of a global pandemic. Just know that you can do anything you put your mind to and overcome all obstacles in your way. I wish you all the best of luck and I know that you are all going to accomplish incredible things. Congratulations graduates. It's a huge testament to you as individuals that you've been able to come out of this year with such an incredible academic achievement. You should be incredibly proud of yourselves. We certainly are and we are wishing you the very best of luck for your future. Congratulations once again and good luck. Congratulations graduates. I wish you all the best of luck for the future and I hope that when you look back at your time here at University of Leicester, you have nothing but fond memories. Thank you for that. As a graduate from the University of Leicester, you automatically become part of our wonderful alumni community. We've got a final video, a message from some of our alumni who were once in your shoes. Hi there, I'm Martin Cullen, Chair of the University's Alumni Association and I just wanted to wish you a huge congratulations on your graduation and welcome you to our 200,000 strong alumni community. Really well done and we look forward to welcoming you to an alumni event as soon as we can. Hi everyone, my name is Will Tudor, I'm an actor, I graduated from Leicester in 2008. I just want to say a massive congratulations for graduating today in what is an incredibly 
turbulent, uh, uncertain time, you've done absolutely brilliantly, so congratulations. You should be so proud of yourself, so well done. Go and celebrate, have an amazing time, and all the best for the future. Well done, everyone. Hello, I'm Aaron Porter, a graduate in 2006, and the first Leicester alum to be president of NUS. Today will be one you never forget. Looking back on an experience I hope you can cherish with fondness. Whether it's the friendships that will last a lifetime, the new experiences and horizons that have been opened for you, and for some moving away from home for the first time. Leicester is now an indelible part of your life as you move on to the next chapter. Best of luck. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jonathan Tai, President of Leicester Alumni Ghana. Congratulations on the occasion of your graduation and we really can't wait to welcome you into the alumni body. Just like we say in Ghana, Akwaaba. Congratulations one more time. Hi, my name's S. Wansma Goldsmith. Wow, congratulations, you made it. In one of the most challenging times in history, you managed to graduate. So I'm wishing all of you, home, international, postgraduate, graduands, undergraduates, all the very best in the world and congratulations again. And you've got everything you need now to go out and make the world a much better place. I'm going to be with you all the way. You rock. This is Jamal Anderson from the Leicester Riders. I just want to wish you the very best for the future. Um, congratulations for graduating in these difficult times. It's amazing that you've done so. And, and I wish you all the best. Take care. Hi, it's uh, Brendan Rogers here from Leicester City. I just wanted to take this opportunity to wish uh, all the graduates at Leicester University big congratulations. Uh, enjoy your graduation day. And obviously, uh, safely have a great celebration this evening and uh, I'm well done. Well, your graduation from the University of Leicester is a very happy event, but the time is also tinged with some sadness for us as you leave us to go on to the next exciting chapter of your lives. We've got to know you. We've watched your progress over the years. Namaste, Namaste. We love to hear from you. So do keep in touch and all our heads have emphasised that. Let us know what you're doing. Let us know how you're progressing. You can keep in touch through our alumni organisation, via Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn. As graduates, you're joining our alumni, a group of people all over the world, doing a variety of, in a variety of careers, doing a variety of jobs, but they've all got one thing in common, and that is a degree from the University of Leicester. And I know, as we've said all the way through this, as a Leicester graduate, you'll change and you will influence our world. So many, many congratulations to you all. Before we end this event, please can I ask everyone to turn on their cameras, to unmute their mics and to join us for a celebratory round of applause. And to our class of 2021, you've made it and we are all very, very proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.